do you discriminate at all or do you ask certain things off the like what what would change.org say no that 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 cannot fly that cannot be put into the world wide web into um, the universe is it illegal is it defamatory is mm-hmm. it slander is it uh hate speech is it calling for violence mm. you know i mean just the bare checks and and balances around certain speech mm-hmm. so definitely um encourage freedom of expression uh, freedom of association if your petition is calling for a specific protest etc however there are definitely checks and balances so around the world 481 million 260,680 people are taking action on change.org Correct. so my favorite favorite petition my favorite petition so far has been this petition um, that that came out after that video, you know the video I'm talking about. It was it was a really dark day for women in uh, in Kenya and in in the world actually. Mm. Ironically, the day before International Women's Day, um, horrendous. So that th- that landed on your in your inbox. And and what was your thinking behind that? First of all, you saw the video, of course, the Forest Road incident. I tried to not see it, but I saw oh. it because I was on Twitter and it has auto. It's, it's one of those things where you're just forced to sometimes see content that you don't want to see. I know. Um, but it wasn't that it happened a day before International Women's Day. It's that it happened on the 4th and nothing had actually happened so right. until the video came out and people got awareness from it, then started the petition. That's so right. Right. And I think that's also the problem, the larger problem here which is that if you do not have an internet connection and a smartphone, you may not necessarily get access to the kind of justice and visibility that a platform such as Change necessarily offers. Um, That said, I think this was one of those issues that really mobilized a lot of people around the country because um, crime, as far as the Boda Boda sector, and this is not to indict the entire sector, Mm. it's not to say that it's synonymous with crime, um, has significant staggering numbers um, and, and is definitely a national problem that people have been complaining about for a really long time. And the thing about this video, if if you had been familiar with the My Dress, My Choice protest as well, is that for a very long time, this idea that women would be stripped um, and, and um, be and basically go through specific kinds of violence had never actually been put on video. So you really didn't have a concept of what, of how violent that looks and, and, and the kind of pain and um, violation it actually is until these videos started coming out. And so basically what that does is that it gives um, not just a face, but a very, a very distinct um, visceral idea of what that means so it it doesn't it doesn't fall in the realm of what people are usually accusing of women are exaggerating it's not that bad you know catcalls are not that bad so what you should have dressed decently but she she was literally in an accident in her car and this still happened so chills 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 so noni the, the the thing is though is that you you believe in digital media having the power to change society I definitely do. Um, I think if if you're a Kenyan, you know that it's a fact that digital media can change your life. Um, it's a space for commerce. It's a space for meeting and making friends. It's a space for finding love. Um, we are one of those countries where the digital economy is something that, can, that actually works. And that's a rare thing in Africa. Um, if you think about it, we even pay for county services using our phones. <laughs> yeah. So it's not for us. It's not a concept. It's, it's real life. So definitely, yes, I would say that digital just does change people's lives. Can you start a petition mm-hmm. against a person? Can I start a petition? Farid Kimani should. Ne- no, I'm not. No, you can't start against someone <laughs> specific, can you? No hate speech. No, Farid will be back next week, but we could petition you for act, him to be you back. You actually can. He's a public figure. So technically... Should we start one right now? <laughs> Let's start a petition. Okay, so you click click submit. Mm-hmm. You've put a picture up. You've put a description up. Mm-hmm. You click submit. You check it. You let it go into the into the. No, ethos. I do not check all of them. Okay, but only that are flagged. <laughs> she's not Correct. like, wait. It has to really be flagged. So when she's not watching Showmax on her mobile, she's checking. <laughs> And then it goes up, like if it passes all of the checks and balances, yes. it's out there in the world. 
And then, and then what do you do? Like, what does one you do? You start to share it. You share it in your WhatsApp groups, on email. You put it on social media. Mm. You talk to people about it. And you get as many signatures as you can. Thanks. Please. So I think what's important here to remember is that the petition belongs to the petition starter. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what we do is we come in and we give you capacity support on specific things that you or your team, because some people open petitions as institutions, as a collective of people. So we come in and we help you and your team with areas that you may be struggling in that we have capacity for. And that's largely around campaigning, advocacy, um, and some direction in lobbying. So that's what we do. However, the petition is still yours. You're the one who needs to deliver it to the end and see it to the end um, as as uh, as comfortable as you are with the entire process, right? So some people may get to a certain point and they say, actually, from this point on, I'm tired. I can't do it. Um, for XYZ specific reason, that's also quite valid. So you can also stop halfway. <laughs> no. I, yes. I mean, I get... So you're there as a supervisor or as support as well? No, support. There's no support. supervision. So it's just support. It's okay. This, Advisory? This, so basically how the process starts is I'll contact you. I'll tell you, I've noticed your petition is getting a lot of attention. I think it has policy impact uh, change, potential, or that the decision maker will be interested at the very least in receiving this petition and hearing you out. So what is the picture of success for you? Wow. And for some people, they'll say the picture for success for me is I definitely want to deliver this petition, but I also want to have the conversation go on after um, so that we ensure that this person is listening to people's input on a specific issue. Other people will say as long as it's been declared a success in the media this person has put out a statement i consider it a success wow. i don't want to do anything further that's enough for me somebody else will say well i got this number of petitions they're kind of discussing it i'd like to pull out at this point in time with um sort of like the campaigning behind it but i'm happy to just leave it open and see how it goes so people are different and because the petitions belong to them it's really about what's your picture of success how can we help you get there